Yes, yes, my people. You already know what time it is. I'm your boy Prozac. Welcome. Thank you very, very much for joining us on this illustrious day. I did a segment last week and we're going to keep that ball rolling because there's some heat dropping very, very soon. Yes, my people, it's time for cop that, stop that and shot that. You get me? And for those that don't know, cop that, stop that and shot that is a segment where I like to look at either recent or upcoming sneaker drops and rate them cop that. Meaning, I love the shoe. I want to cop that shoe. Stop that. Meaning, that shoe's dead out. I'm out. You know I'm saying I don't want anything to do with that shoe. Or oh, shut that. Shut that meaning there's some money to be made with this shoe. It means I like the shoe somehow. But I like the shoe for my own personal gain. <laughs> you get me? Alright. So let's go through the list and let's see what we're saying. Okay. First up, we have dropping on March the 18th. It's the Jordan 1 High Skyline. Who? <laughs> Jordan 1 High Skyline. Now, this shoe is £160. £160. You get me? And it was meant to represent the Chicago Skyline, the one that was behind Michael Jordan when he did his iconic pose. You get, that was my version of the pose, right? You can't see my legs, but they're exactly... They're exactly how he does them. Exactly how he does them, right? It's kind of like a, it's kind of, it's kind of like a dusk, <laughs> a twilight, I should say. You get me? It's like a mauve and a, into a yellow, into a blue. Yeah, like it's just a bit of a mishmash of color, if I'm being honest. Yeah, not one I would stretch my neck out, nor my pocket. 160 Nike, bro. 160. Now, not one for me. And because of that, I'm going to say, stop that shoe. Stop that shoe. Let me know if I'm being too harsh. Yeah, maybe you love the shoe. Maybe you love the shoe. Let me know if I'm being too harsh. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But this right now, it's about me. Right now, it's about me. Next up on the 21st of March. Yeah, we're doing this in real time. I'm recording this on the 18th. So in a couple days, on the 21st of March, right? Jordan 4 SB in the pine green colorway. What are we saying, people? Pictures out here looking spicy. I can't lie. I jumped on the uh, the, the sneakers live and, and I'm saying I hear them chatting it up. You get me? Uh, shout out to your boy, Corsten and Will Stowe. I'd love to get you, man, on the pod one day. Um, yeah, definitely doing bits. The shoe looks interesting. They've added a lot more cushioning to the shoe because it's now a skateboarding shoe. They've taken it back to the original silhouette. So it's far more representative of the original Jordan 4 that dropped. You get me? But there was a but that back tab, that Nike SB back tab looking spicy. Only caveat to the issue, oh no, not caveat, only issue is the green. But I like the green. If you don't like green, you're probably not going to run it. But I like the green. And I like the colorway in general because it reminds me of the military black, military blue. You get me with that sort of, with the grey new buck as well and the white hits, kind of off whitey hits. Like, I like, I like it. But if you don't like green, you're probably not going to like it. You get me? But for a first SP, I don't know whether green was the right way to go. But that being said, I ain't going to lie to you. The money's looking right. You get me? The money's looking right. Although, it's expensive. £205. Retail. Nike. That extra cushioning must have been a lot. £205 for the extra cushioning. But resale's looking about 400 Depending on what size you're going for. Between 350 400 Right? If I'm being real... If I'm being honest, and you know I like to keep it real, right? This shoe is this shoe is a shot that. This shoe is a shot that, right? It's not for me. And I like the Jordan 4, although it's not my favorite silhouette. I like the Jordan 4. And I like what this shoe represents, being like the first of its kind. You get me? Usually when Nike do these Frankensteiner kicks, I ain't about it. But this is a great combination. And it actually makes sense, right? 
it actually makes sense. It makes sense on the shoe because they've been they they've been respectful in the elements they've used from both silhouettes from both areas of Nike. They've been respectful, but predominantly this is a Jordan Four, which is the way it should be, right? I like the shoe. Seems like people like the shoe. I don't know whether a green Jordan Four is going to be the first Jordan Four I keep. You get me? Because I've had a lot of Jordan 4s over the years and I've shot them all. I'll be real with you, right? But is the Jordan 4 Pine Green SB going to be the one that I keep? I'm not sure. It might be, though, if I've got three or four pairs. If I've got three or four pairs, I'm shooting three and I'm holding on to one. Because I think, right, this shoe may increase in value over time. It may increase in value over time. You get me? And therein lies my decision. This shoe ultimately is a shot that. Because even if I hold one, I'm holding it to shut it further down the line. It's a very, very nice shoe, but I'm a shot that. This shoe, this shoe is a very good shoe. It's a shot that. There's money in this shoe. It's a shot that. Right? Next up, yeah, and I'm gonna do this quickly because it's long, literally. Nocta, the Nocta Finn Drake. Drizzy has done it again. You get me? Jersey Drake has done it again. He's come up with a Noctafin and the Turks and Caicos colorway. Rumored to be $70. It's basically a slider in the shape of a fin. Completely impractical. Kind of in the sort of guise and the vein of a mischief. Like a shoe that makes no sense in reality. I haven't really seen any on-feet examples of the shoe or people trying to walk around in the shoe. I always thought when you wore fins, you had to walk backwards, which is even more nuts, right? With all of that being said, at whatever price point, this shoe is a stop that <laughs> Small caveat, if this shoe starts to bang like the like the foam runners, yeah, I'm a dip in and I'm definitely cashing out. But for the time being, it's a stop that. Right? Next up on the list, we have a very, very interesting shoe. It is the Nike SB Fly Street where Gardenia Dunk Low. Right? Dropping on March the 25th for £110 interesting shoe beautiful beautiful blue and cream colorway beautiful looking shoe for all you sb lovers out there also comes in a special box oh there is a special box version right so, so there's a special box version and a regular version the regular versions are ready up on StockX for five bills 500 pounds right and no matter how you slice this yeah Cause it's probably gonna come down a bit and i don't know what the special box version is gonna be because the regular one's 500 pounds right now right around right the special box version might be crazy right but it's 110 pound retail so if you can pick this up for 110 pounds bro that story writes itself that is a shot that yeah you owe it to yourself and your family to shut that shoe and spend it on your light bill all right and the last one but definitely, most certainly, not the least. One that I'm looking forward to. One I've been looking forward to for the whole of 2023. Yes, I'm talking about the Air Max One. Big Bob! Right? It's dropping on March the 26th. March the 26th. I am waiting in with bated breath. I was on the sneakers live yesterday. You get me? Shout out to Robbie Williams. Yeah, he may not know his namesake, but Robbie Digital was out here chatting it up, man. I need to talk to Robbie Digital one of these days, man, because his knowledge on kicks, yeah, he's one of the curators at Night DA, bro. He was breaking it down. You get me? Like, so I respect him. So I need to get him on the show one day, right? Or if you by any chance happen to hear this, reach out to me, bro reach out to me bro I'm, I'm, I'm about that an amazing shoe in my opinion it's taking it back to the 86 taking it back to its original with that big bubble and that amazing vibrant red shout out to to, to Erkin Hassan big broski did an early look at this shoe so make sure I'll link the video make sure to go check that video out um 145 pound price point respectful and it's so respectful right uh, because this is heritage we're taking it back. It's got a great story, right? And then Nike says, you know what? For a Jordan 1 Skyline, we're going to charge 160. Do you see where I'm going with this? Like, up your game, man. Like, I think, man. I'm saying, like, I'm not telling you to charge more. Maybe I'm saying to you, think before you charge, though. 
on a Jordan 1 that's dead out. Just saying. It is what it is. Right, so... Like, the AM1 Big Bubble is dropping for £145. It looks amazing. So vibrant. So, so, so full of history. You get me? I'm an 80s baby. I love that shoe. And with all of that being said, it's an absolute cop. You get me? It's an absolute cop. It's going right there. And I've got a box down there that it's probably going to go into as well before I put it up there. You get me? I don't want no dust or no particles going on. I know sun damage. You get me? So that's an absolute cop. People, now you know what I think. But who cares what I think? I want to know what you think. Yeah? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Or whether I've been too harsh. Whether those shoes are cop, that stop, that's or shot, that's let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit me up on all social media. You already know what time it is. And until I see you, man, down the roads, stay blessed.